signed up. I've, I've been a customer for about two years and I liked it. And so I just thought that it would be a good fit for real estate because I like to do it as gifts too. Yeah. You know, to my friends. Really, really cool. Okay. So is it kind of just something you'll implement on the real estate in, in the real estate side of everything, or do you actually want to try to get this out to more people? No, I want to try to get it out to more people. Yeah, for sure. So what you, what you, I mean, what I would highly recommend doing is, is really, I mean, it just comes down to what you want to do. I mean, everyone has a different marketing approach, especially when it comes to this type of a, of a, of a business, which is word of mouth and, and simply networking. So some people just rely on building a business and, and, and getting the product out or even building a team via word of mouth. But today it's, it's so, so easy to run ads to attract people. But that's right. if you want to kind of take it to a whole nother level. Like if you want to take it to a whole nother level, that would be, that would be running simple Facebook ads targeting people who have this interest to get them to see your product. Like no one, not many in the industry of, of multi-level or network marketing or whatever you want to call it. I love this industry. First of all, I started my entire entrepreneurship journey in this industry of, of network marketing and, and word of mouth. So I'm very familiar with this type of industry, but very few actually run ads. Most just try to recruit friends and family or just word of mouth. So I just truly believe from a marketing standpoint where we're at today with social media marketing, it's so easy to get this product in front of thousands of people while you're literally sleeping. Right. You know, but, but again, that, that's for someone that's really looking to take it to the next level. That's for someone that actually wants to invest and, and, and has a budget to even run a Facebook ad, you know, but the very first ad, what I reached out to you yesterday on is definitely the first ad needs to be that like ad, no matter what, right. like, that has to be, there has to be a comma in that number as soon as possible. And then after that, you know, we can always talk in the future if you have, you know, even a, a more budget to, to start actually selling the product. First is just the, 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 the social proof and the credibility of the page, you know, coming here and seeing 1100 likes versus 117. It's that social proof. That's step one. And then after that is, is just, yeah, taking, taking ads to a whole other level by actually selling the product. You know, so I just don't know how deep you are into this and how, 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 because I mean, again, it, it could be simple. It could be super, super simple, but it does take some kind of budget, you know, to run any type of ad. Right. Right. No, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. You know, so I, I would like to take it to the next level. Do you have, um, what's your web actually? Okay. So here's your website right here. So this website what would be necessary, which most company websites do not allow you to do, is install your Facebook Pixel. That's that's number one. And you may not know what a Pixel is just yeah, yet. Yeah, no, I do because I have a Pixel that goes back to my real estate website. Perfect, perfect. So you're very familiar. So the only thing that these companies don't do is they don't allow you to install the Pixel on the on the website that they provide for you. So that's that's when you'll have to come up with a different web page to get people to. Um, so you can run Facebook ads and so you can really take it to that next level because you wouldn't, I would not at all advise you to run a Facebook ad to this website right here. Okay. And it's a beautiful website, but that's number one, that's the problem. It's too beautiful. And so if I run an ad and, and people are seeing an ad, see, here's, let me go back. You, when, when it comes to ads and it's, it's very, it's 100% the same with real estate in real estate this would be a post on one single listing. And when I click on that, I go to a web page where I can enter my name, my name and number because I'm interested in that one specific listing. The right. reason why we wouldn't run an ad to a website like this is because the moment like we're, for example, if we were promoting this exact product right here, we're running an ad. We're literally paying to get people to see it. We're get, we're paying to get people to click it. And so the problem with the website is the fact that when I click it, I'm on the website and all of a sudden there's a million things that I'm going to go look at a million things. And before you know it, I don't end up buying anything because it's overwhelming. I might bookmark it. I might come back to it later, but I paid to get that person to click and I, and I paid to, to, to get this product exposed. 
But again, the moment they come over here, they saw a million other products and that's what's overwhelming because we only have right. a short attention span and that's how it is with marketing as well. You have a, consumers have a very short attention span. So I need to put one product in front of their face. I need to get them to click it. They go to a website, they see that one single product and they purchase. So when it comes to physical products like this, like for example, if I can run an ad and it takes me straight here. So this image would be this over here. I click on it. I come here. There's only one product. There's nothing else to click on. I don't see any of this stuff. I see add to bag, check out. That's how you run ads when it comes to physical products. When it comes to anything, when it comes to a, a listing, whatever, it, it, it's, it's taken the click to one single product versus a website. Right. So, so that, that's what you would have to do in this case is you would have to have a single web page, which the company, they don't provide that. You'd have to get a third party software, which there's a ton of them out there. I mean, I use, I use one for sure for landing pages. That's what you would need. You would need a landing page. Okay. Where, where it's a one, it's, it's not a website, it's a web page. And, and again, it's promoting that one product and, and it's getting people to this one page to get them to click the one button and buy that single product. You know, so, so that, that, that would be more for, for marketing different products. So what I would do is I would maybe go through this and see which one is your highest margin where you make the most um, uh -huh. on any of these products. And then, and then simply take that one product and run ads on that. Or, or, or it's either, it's either you're going to do that because you're not going to run ads on the entire website. That's not going to happen at all. You don't want to do that at all, at all, at all. You'll waste your money. So it's all about running an ad for one single product in this case, or running an ad to get people familiar with the company and exposed to actually building a team with you. Right. So, so those are two different ad angles and those are the, the only two. Those are the best two. Either we're going to sell one single product and the profit margin is going to justify what we're going to spend in advertising, or I'm going to run ads to get people on my team. And, and as I build a team, that income, that residual income can obviously build from there. But, but the yeah. strategy today, again, as I mentioned, it's all here. It's a, it's a, it's a simple Facebook ad. It's either that I'm going to expose because your company has a, a ton of videos, promotional videos showing how amazing the company is, right? Recruiting videos. They already have those types of videos. If you start running ads to get people to click on the video and come straight to your sign up page to sign up, that could be very powerful. And I, and, and I just, from a marketing perspective, I truly believe that's where we should be today where 99% of people that are in the industry, not only just in this company, but in the industry as a whole, because it's a huge industry, so many different Amways, Herbalife, this industry has been around forever. 99% still recruit their friends and family when trying to build a team. Right. Right. So, and that's how you probably got exposed. A probably friend of yours, you know, a couple years ago exposed you to it because that's, that's the most powerful way, word of mouth. But at the same time, people are kind of sick and tired of that. And if we can leverage a, a simple ad to get that exposure, why not? Especially someone like you that's building a real estate business and you don't even have all the time in the world anyways. Right. So your time is very limited. So to run an ad and leverage an ad to get people to ex expose to the company and, and, and in hopes build a, build a team with you, that could be simple and that could be powerful. And it's not that, it's, it, it's not that expensive at all, at all, at all. You know, but then again, that's, that's if you're looking to build the team. But it's either, it's either, it's either grab a, a handful of videos that I know the company already has. Like if I go to the YouTube channel, there's probably a ton of videos on their YouTube channel. Like yeah. Amazing videos, promotional videos showing how amazing the company is. They're re recruiting type videos, <clears throat> which, which you can easily use to run, to run ads on. Let me, let me, let me go to their, to their corporate YouTube channel. Yeah, this one right here, 31,000 subscribers. This is their main channel. Um, all of these videos, again, whether it's a video on the company and, 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 and it's a promotional video to try to get people involved or it's a video on the product and, and, and now we're running ads on the product, that could be simple. Like all these videos are already done. These are professional videos that I can easily download 
upload to your Facebook page and run ads on. Like right. that's, that's powerful. That's super simple. That's super powerful. However, I wouldn't be taking them to this website. I'd be taking them to one web page where I can capture the lead or I can keep their attention on this one specific product and get them to buy that way. You know, so, so for example, if I was running an ad, I would run up to this one single product when they purchase and they enter their, their, their credit card number and they actually purchase, then they can go to the website and see all the products, but that's after yeah. they already bought the product. Right. You know, and, and again, that's the only strategy because I'm running an ad for it. You know, I, I, I want to keep the ad very, very narrow and very targeted and very straight to the point on one single product. Um, so there, there's just two angles you can go either. We're going to, you know, run ads on, on promoting and, and, and recruiting or run ads on, on products that could be super powerful as well. Um, but again, step one, I would say, just take that number up. Like your next dollar needs to go in, in, into, into exposing this to a few thousand more people. Right. Cause you're going to click invite and, and that's probably as high as you're going to get. Um, and then, and then now it's just, it, it just comes out of Facebook ad. So I think that should be step one. Step one, take that like count up and then, and then we can definitely start. What I would do is I would, I would, if I were you, I would go to the website and just look at the commissions and say, okay, which product do I make the most amount of money on? And, 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 and would it make sense if I actually ran ads on that one product? Because you could, okay. you can look at all these products and let's say you do make a, you know, a, I don't know, a $20 commission, a $25 commission, whatever it may be. Let's say, let's say on any of these products, let's say, let's say on one of them, you make a $20 commission. If that's the commission, $20, it might not seem like a lot, but once we, once you sell a few of them per day, it, it definitely adds up. <clears throat> it definitely adds up. Right. So for example, the way I would start looking at it is what's my profit margin? What's the highest margin? I want to run an ad on that one single product. And if my profit margin is 20 bucks, that means that I can spend up to $20 per day before I break even. So if I can spend 20 bucks a day and sell at least one, I break even. And that's how you want to look at it. You want to look at it. What's my profit margin? Because whatever that is, I can afford to spend that much per day. As long as I'm getting a sell, as long as I'm getting one sell per day. And the way, you know, this can possibly work is where you're selling, you know, five, six, seven, eight of them a day right? You know, at that, at that same budget, you know, you can spend 20 bucks a day and start selling 10 of them a day. And so, although there, there's a million different products here, if you literally took the highest profit margin one and it was one, and let's just say that was under, let's just say that was mm, something under wedding. Let's say, let's say we come to the gift guide and we go under the wedding category and we start running a rent, let's just say, let's just say this one right here, 50 bucks. You start running, you start running ads to, for that one single product targeting everyone who has an interest in weddings. So at 50 bucks, I don't know exactly what your commission is. Maybe, maybe, maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks, but whatever it is, that's how you would want to look at it is, is what's the highest profit margin and let me run an ad on that one single product because I'm telling you, although the website has a million different products, if you came out the gates and started selling 10, 15, 20 of these per day, I'm here to tell you right now, and I don't even know the company, but I know of the industry. I'm here to tell you right now that no one in the company is even doing that. Right. Not even one single person out of tens of thousands that are in the company. Not one single person is selling a crap load of one single product per day. Right. They're not, not in any company. So when you can really take today's marketing, which is social media marketing, you could take today's Facebook advertising and leverage that and do that. Oh my gosh, you can crush it. You can crush it. You can crush it. So I'm just kind of planting seeds with you. I don't expect you to do this exactly right now. I want you to do your research. I want you to kind of see which look this one right here, 150 bucks. Your commission has to be at least something. I mean, you have to have, uh -huh. Yeah, well, hang on, it'd be 30 bucks. 30 bucks. So if that was the case, I'm telling you right now, Amy, $30. If you were spending $30 per day and we were selling at least one, at least you're breaking even. But at the same time, I truly believe at $30 a day, you'd be selling several of those. Right. 
you'd be selling several of those. So it'd be in no time when you're at a hundred bucks a day and you're closing escrows, you know, right. or that's just running behind the scenes while you're doing your real estate deals, you know? So this 150, that, that could be powerful. You know, you target everyone who has an interest in wedding, in weddings, everyone who's getting married, you know, Facebook has all that data. Like I could target people. If I was a wedding gown, you know, manufacturer, or if I was a, a wedding gown retail store, I can literally target women who are getting married this summer. Right. Like it's absolutely crazy. And so this right here, man, that's what you could do with that. But again, it wouldn't go straight to this one page. It would go to a, a web page, not a website. So it would be a completely different page, which will now have what you, which you would have to budget for that as well. Now you got to have a completely separate web page. Um, well, it, could it go in with my click funnels? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. I use a different one. I use Kartra only because it comes with the email autoresponder as well. Um, and well so, so, does, uh, so does my subscription with um, click funnels. So you're spending, what are you spending 300 a month with it? Yeah. Oh man, Amy, you need to get on the one that I'm, that I'm using. It's $97 a month for everything. Oh really? I, I left click funnels. In fact, I made a video over here on my YouTube channel. I'm over here building a YouTube channel. Um, but I made a video back in 2018 as I was leaving uh, click funnels to sign up with, with this new software only because this new software has, has multiple tools all for the same price. Only because I need, I need, first of all, when it comes to, running ads, you need the landing page, you need an email autoresponder. And in your case with real estate, you want some type of online calendar. So as people are coming to your landing page, if you're running an ad on a listing, they're inquiring on, on your landing page, they're entering their name and email because they want more information. Your email autoresponder sends out more information, but in your email autoresponder, there's also a link for your calendar. So it's, it's mainly those three softwares in one for the same price. And so I literally, yeah, I, I've been on this new software for, for, for two years now. And it's just, it just saves me a ton of money. That's all. It saves me a ton yeah. of money. I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link and, and there's a 14 day trial. Just compare it. Like if you're already using ClickFunnels. Because I just signed up. I just signed up for ClickFunnels. Well, actually I'm in the hundred. I, I just signed up for the 30 day challenge to learn how to build a funnel. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So if you've already paid for that part, what was like a hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah. So if you did that, then, then go through it just so you know it. But at the same time, you're, you're spending way more money than you need to way more money, that extra 200 a month. So you're spending 300 on that. I'm telling you, come over here and spend 97 for way more. That extra 200 a month needs to be your Facebook ad budget. Right. Bottom line, bottom line, bottom line, that extra 200 needs to be a Facebook ad budget and you would crush it. You'd crush it with real estate at a two hundred dollar monthly budget, or you'd crush it with this, with with a two hundred dollar month budget. So, and that's just with me teaching you how to do it. Like I, I I'd be open to you know just teach you how to run these simple ads. Right. Um, but we'll 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 definitely get there. Work out work out the products. Look at all these different products and see which one you make the most on. Okay. And then, and then yeah, we'd build a page around that one product and just crush it with that one product. And as people buy that one product, now they're on your email list. Now you can email them this website that has a million more. Right. That right there is simple, Amy, super powerful and super simple. And I'm super excited to be talking about this with you because I, I just have a completely different view on it and how you can really go to the top quick because yeah, network marketing has been around forever, but internet marketing, not many has even taken advantage of it yet. You know, social media marketing. So what, what we should do first is let's, let's take that like count up. What's our budget for the like? Let's run one Facebook ad. I'll run it for you. You just pay for it. Just let me know what your budget is. What can what, we, what does it need to be? It could be whatever. I mean, you could, like, for example, for every, for every, for every, let's call it a hundred bucks for every $99 for every $100 that it's I, a thousand, get, right? yeah, that's still the same. So those numbers are still the same. That's how much we can always get no matter what. So Either we go up a thousand, we go up, it's a, it's a one-time ad. I'm not going to want you to run it all the time. Like let's run this one time, take it up as high as we need to. And then we shut it off. And then we talk again on which product we want to start running. Okay. You know, so 
I just think you have a ton of potential because. Well, well, let's go ahead and do the do the hundred, so we can get it up over a thousand. Okay, perfect. So all I need you to do is just go to your. Are you actually you're on your iPad, right? Can you get to your business page? Can you go to Facebook? Yeah. Okay, go to your um. Go to your business page really quick. And all I'm going to do is just request access to the page so I can start the ad tonight. Okay. Where do I go? Where do you, where do I see where you gain, you ask for access? Okay. So you should either get a notification here in four seconds, or do you see uh, settings at the top? So in the top right-hand corner of, of yeah. that page. Okay, perfect. So then if you don't receive a notification right now. Okay, I just got it. Perfect. So just follow that through. It's going to ask you for your password and that's it. Oh gosh, now I got to remember my password. Yeah, I know most of us don't know it. So Scentsy, is it, is it mainly scented candles candles it's, or it's it's not candles it's wax like it's wax wax know, wax wax gotcha. so it's the warmers so it's the warmers but they also have cleaning products pet products i love it i love it amy i'm gonna have my wife buy a few products off of you tonight oh cool yeah really cool let's see oils pods laundry i bet this laundry yeah, the diffuser the diffuser is a big thing right now the diffuser, 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 diffuser. Where's that at? Uh, it's the mini diffuser. If you type in the search, yeah, right there where you just were. Fan diffusers and pods. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, mini fan diffuser. Mini fan diffuser. I never even heard of a mini fan. What is a mini? It's perfect for the office, your car, or anywhere there's a USB port hand. Just add. Wow. And it just gives off a fragrance, right? That's amazing. Yeah, and it, it smells really cool. Really good. So are these are these like scents and fragrances supposed to be like healthy for you, or it's just a random scent? It's just it's just something that smells good. Well, they're they're not. You know, they don't burn like the waxes and stuff. If you put your finger in it, they mm. don't burn. And so, but they're not like they. We do have some essential oils and stuff as well mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. regular diffusers. Really cool. Really okay, did cool. I just give it to you? Let's um, refresh. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah, so now I have access. So I'll start that ad tonight. And then just give me whatever card I can use to run it. Either Visa you still have my card for the other that you run for my business page? Um, I can check. Is Have you changed it at all recently? No. No. Okay, so I should still have that same one then. I'll, yes. I'll message you the last four digits and just confirm if that's the right one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and then I'll start that tonight. And do you have any any like images? Like I can I can for sure run it on this image right here. But if you just actually this is a beautiful image right here. Can I run it on this on this image? Should I run it? Yeah. On this? Okay, I'm gonna grab this image. I will email you. Uh, I'll snap. I'll, I'll send you a snapshot later on. Um, of the ad and I'm going to use this okay. image for it. Okay, cool. It's a perfect image. Perfect image. So I'll email you later on once we're live and then we'll go from there. Okay, perfect. Cool. Okay, Amy, talk to you soon. Thanks, David. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.